Hey guys, uh, sorry for the horrible video quality I'm uploading right off of YouTube. Um, so today I got my, uh, I got a Silverstone Raven 2 came in today. Um, as you know, I, I sold my case um, for a lot more than I was expecting. My uh, NGXT Rogue right here, and this, it's in the box right now, it's got a power supply in it too. Um, I sold it for originally 86 bucks, and um, I had it starting at $86 on uh, eBay, so I, um, it, believe it or not, it went all the way up to $145, just $5 away from its actual MSRP, so I really made a lot of money off that one. Um, okay, so right here, we've got the Silverstone Raven 2, um, not the Raven 1, this is the Raven 2, it's a lot longer in size, and it's a full tower, but it's not really like tall like a full tower, so you'll see when I pull it out get my knife. Okay. Sorry for the horrible video quality. Like I said, my processor's out of whack. And until I can um, get a new one, I just have to uh, be recording my videos like this. So. I don't know, I'm using a small blade. It's not really going to help. Okay. Move the camera closer. My computer's in like a little tech station set up right now. You're not actually going to want to like flip the case while it's in the air. You want to kind of get it on the ground. This is a 40-pound uh, 40 pound, 40 pound case. It's pretty, pretty heavy. Um, so not, not your average case. bottom now too. Jesus tape is horrible. Yeah, big blade. So, um, here we go. The case is in a nice little cloth bag, so. Pretty cool that they did that. Yeah, this is gonna take a while. Well, they really did not want this to move at all inside. Crazy. driving me nuts. Hey, plan B. Sideways. Okay. 
Jeez. That was a pain. Okay. So it's huge and it's really heavy. Whoa, it's static. So. Here's a little box of stuff. Let's see what we got here. Okay, so right here it looks like we've got those uh, plastic radiator mounts for the bottom if you're going to uh, mount a uh, triple um, 120 millimeter radiator because the fans at the bottom are 180 millimeter fans, so they're huge. Um, right here we have a two, three, uh, three, three pin fans to one Molex adapter. Okay. Right here we've got all the standoffs, um, a three and a half inch bay adapter for your floppy drive or any fan controller that's three and a half inch or media card reader, whatever. Um, all the necessary screws, a velcro strap, I guess, to hold your power supply cords together. Um, a couple plastic cable ties. They're not rubber. They're just really like flexible plastic, I guess, but they look like they can break easily. Um, kind of odd. Um, let's see what else we got here. Just gotta empty out this whole thing. user's manual. It's quite thick. Um, right here we have the solid state disc uh, adapter. You mount this on the in the back of the case on the inside. It only holds um, one solid state disc so um, I guess you could probably buy more adapters off of uh, Silverstone's website. So. I guess that's probably a future thing they're going to be doing. Okay. Now the Raven itself. Okay. Okay. Very static. Okay, well, I'm shocked. Okay. So here she is. Silverstone Raven. Pretty, pretty big case. Um, I can get some more light on it. There we go. I had to open my window. Okay, so, this is what it looks like, pretty much. Um, it's similar to the other um, Raven 1, except it's, instead of being tall, it's longer, and it's, um, it's, uh, the motherboard orientation is switched around from being on the ATX side to the, um, to the BTX side, which is the other side of the left, the right side of the computer, and it looks like one of the doors is already open somewhat, which means one of the thumb screws is in there. So, um, yeah, I'll have an upcoming review for you guys. Um, so, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.